Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Joy and today we're going to be analyzing the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop Quest trailer that was released back in September. I know it's taken me a while to get around to making this video, but such is life and I am catching up now. Thanks for sticking around. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And if you're feeling so inclined, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at It's a Potter Party. Thank you. All right, let's get started. When the trailer starts, we're greeted by an inviting lamppost. Just over the bridge, we can see the sign that reads Hogsmeade, bringing us into this tiny and familiar town. And of course, an owl flies past, which evokes one of the most Potterish of feelings. Swooping through what almost feels like the POV of that owl, we're taken into Hogsmeade. Some more familiar things appear, including the three broomsticks and a sign that leads us to the Hogshead. I am so excited to explore all of the places in this game. Does anyone have a guess as to what this shop is? Hello, Editing Joy here. Uh, I figured out what the shop was. This part had a very interesting little discovery. Let me lighten things up for you a little bit. All right, the first thing I notice when I zoom in is Honey Duke's sweet shop and a cart of some kind. I wonder if anyone would be shopping at this hour. Then again, this is Scotland and it gets dark very early during the winter months. Side note, I had it in my head for years that Hogsmeade was enchanted to always be snowing for some reason. And that isn't the case, but my childhood brain seemed to come up with that version. Like, I always thought, there's this cute little town next to Hogwarts and it's always snowing. It's always Christmas time. That's not correct. <laughs> right, back to our investigation. N next to Honey Dukes is a tea room, which can only be Madame Puttyfoot's, unless I'm forgetting another. Mm, nope. But who is this? Could this be our viewpoint character? It's interesting that this person is only a silhouette off to one side, but clearly wearing a robe. They kind of look like they're about to sneeze. Achoo! Madam Mason, hmm? So, when I did that reaction video, I actually watched it without sound and had no context whatsoever. Not my brightest moment, but I am caught up now. So, Madam Mason has a shop to sell? Why would this student need to buy a shop? Is she just renting a room for some reason? I don't really see too many small details. There's a cauldron in the back, and Madam Mason's quill is huge. You know what they say about big quills. Moving on, I think you'll find my terms quite generous. Well, there can only be some spooky reason for that, right? We've made it inside the shop now, and while I don't see too much to know, I did notice a few signs here. We've got a no trolls, a three broomsticks sign, and another that reads Hogsmeade. I haven't figured out what kind of shop this is yet. What's the catch? Our character asks suspiciously. We enter what I can only assume is something like a loft or a storage room. We get a little teaser towards the upcoming mannequins, which if you look closely, you can see are curled up like a sad little human. Creepy. Scooching over here, you can see another one of these cages we've previously seen used for animals in class at Hogwarts. Most of these models will have been repurposed from other portions of the game, so I don't expect we'll find much in these chaotic piles. Though we can't see much of the items in here, I wonder if our purpose in entering the room could be to dig through the storage to find something hidden or lost. Maybe upon signing for the lease, we'll be told to clean up the space we'll be occupying, but the mannequins and dark magic get in the way. You are wise to be wary, we hear Madame Mason say. We can see that there are two portraits here, and I wonder if they'll talk and move to be able to give us some kind of clue as to what's going on. I also wonder if that's the young voice we hear? Probably doesn't belong to this guy, though. The other photo here looks extremely old, and since this building is a shop, maybe it's now haunted by the previous tenants who aren't happy about it becoming a shop. Could they have cursed this place? Why is your mistress selling the shop? Is the next question we hear. You know what I see straight away? Ravenclaw robes. She leans in, and of course a magical ladder appears, because this is a wizarding world and everything falls into place here. Okay, what was that face? She looks like a zombie? Or really annoyed? I don't know. Later on at the end of this trailer, we can see that it says additional dungeon and in-game Hogsmeade shop. And we know that we can unlock areas in the room of requirement, so I'm guessing this is what that means. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Who says that? Whose voice is that? Is that the viewpoint character? We descend, completely alone, down the very creepy ladder, possibly our only way of escape. Ew, I'm getting the creeps thinking about it. Something grabbing my feet. <laughs> All right, this looks awesome. I'm loving the deep, dark hallway aesthetic. However, I would not like to be going down this hall alone. I am Gryffindor, however, so I would do it anyway to prove to everyone that I wasn't scared. Just stupid. 
I did turn on the lights real quick just so we could get a better look, not because I was scared, but nothing out of the ordinary here. Nope. Well, well, that is if you don't count exactly what we're doing. This is what made me go, oh my God unexpected very cool and i still feel like it's very alice in wonderland or even reminds me a bit of the haunted mansion at disney i originally thought that this bit may have been a nod at the shining but i think they just went on the old creepy hallway route you can see a few more doors to each side as well but again not much in the way of small details i have to say after analyzing the other portions of the gameplay i am a bit disappointed in the lack of easter eggs but then again this is just a side quest the focus should be on the scary bit right I think they did a lot to bring the horror aspect in without being too creepy. The idea of dolls like these hanging from the ceiling is creepy, but because they aren't, you know, actually dead or human, then we lost that sense of true horror we might feel. But subconsciously, the thought might still be there. But because of the use of so many mannequins, I wonder if the previous owner was a tailor. Flash. The jump scare followed by the chasing. Truly, this part could feel very scary. If I had to guess, in this portion of the game, you'll have to use magic to defeat waves upon waves of these enemies. There could be checkpoints for the level, so you might get past the initial wave and then have to run down this hall from them while avoiding being grabbed. I think this statue could potentially be one of Salazar Slytherin. We've got the long beard and the ominous hand. He looks like he could be bald, but likely wearing a hat or a hood. Not sure, but definitely would love to hear your thoughts on this one. This part looks so abstract to me. I genuinely cannot solve what the background is. All I can make out is the spiders, really. Are they huge and climbing over a hall or something? Is this a wall? Trunk? I don't know. <laughs> the possessed lamp. Everything in the wizarding world seems to be magical, and we know that ghosts are visible, so it's likely that the lamp is just charmed. I love the look of the scene here, but it's starting to feel like this shop is absolutely enormous inside. We see our character reach a room full of doors and hits the mannequins with a fire spell, Incendio most likely, and she also seems to start out with the protective charm around her, not different from the one we saw during the Battle of Hogwarts in the Deathly Hallows, Protego. She absolutely annihilates these things, heads popping off, body shattering. Looking pleased with herself, the character finishes off our trailer with a smile. Phew. Well, there we have it. In this analysis, we saw quite a lot, and I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been left with more questions. I can't wait to do a playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. Only four and a half months to go. Thanks for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next video.